Okay. Good morning. Good. Sorry. Good evening, everybody. Uh, hello, Wendy. Hello, teacher. How are you? I am fine. Yeah. Good. 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 Hey. I'm, I'm glad to see you. And hey, you? I'm good. Yeah. Really. Really good. Um. Yeah. Do how... you feel better? Um. Oh yeah. When um. Yeah. I was. I was sick. The right. Cough yeah. And flu. Yes. Yes. You're right. Actually, I'm feeling much better now. Yeah. Um. I've my. Okay. I just have a little bit of cough left. Just, but just a little bit, not much. Um. Yeah. So it's it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Um. I think that that week, um, that we, uh, the week of the vacation really helped me to get better. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I'm um, thinking. Okay. Yeah, thank you for asking. How was your uh, vacation? Um, vacation. I stayed stayed home. Stayed <laughs> uh, home. And yes, and celebrate celebrate uh, the third third year for my cousin. Sobrina, cousin. Cousin, yeah. My cousin, birthday, uh, mm. number three, uh, three. Number three. Three years. Yes. Oh, three okay. Years. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> and, Very tiny. <laughs> and, and her her brother. Mm -hmm. Her brother, my. My no. sobrina is my. I confuse. Sobrina is niece. Sobrina, niece. Yeah. My niece. My niece. Uh, my. My the her her birthday. Ah, oh, my niece will no, celebrate uh three years. Mm. Three years of my niece, my okay. closing three months. <laughs> oh, three months. Months, yes. Months. Wow, oh, so no, tiny. He's a baby. <laughs> he's a baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> very, very small. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet though. I, I I'm happy that. Um, that you were able to be together. That that that's good. Yeah. Okay. Good. So you, um, you you had lots of celebrations. Yes, celebration for for three years. My my niece. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I confuse the niece. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. girl. The yeah. Girl. Did did you go out? Uh, did you go to the beach or something? Did what? you go? Did you go out? Did you go to the beach or something like that? No, no, no. Only stay stay home. Ah, okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, my my vacation in in March and in April no no okay okay all right that's good that's good okay only only stay home dream <laughs> okay good 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 sleep sleep and uh, clean the house. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Hello, Susana. How are you? Hello, teacher. I found things. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. How was your vacation? 
Ah, okay. <laughs> I went to the Quatepec Lake. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, that's that's a beautiful place. Yes, the chair, yes. <laughs> okay, good. Did you just go just um like um did you did you go just one day or did you stay there? Um for, I like is... over the night. I I stayed, I stayed um, for uh, two two nights, uh, three three oh. three days. Wow, uh -huh. three days. The Friday uh, at uh, Auntie uh, yesterday. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, wow, that's so nice. Yes. Uh -huh. What what? So what did you do there? Like like. Did you do any any water sports? Uh, no, I only oh, oh, oh well, uh, when uh, my husband and son, yes, uh, uh, they they was uh, they was they were they were um, practice uh, a kayak mm. and. Uh -huh. And it's it. Uh, who do you say moto aquatica? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, moto aquatica. Uh, water. Water jet, I think it is. Mm. Water jet or it's, something like that. I jet ski. Know. Jet ski. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, jet okay. ski. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yes. I. I. I come I ride, but uh, but I I use I come had to be me. I like to. <laughs> uh, I don't like. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So mm -hmm. you don't you don't like jet skiing? No, <laughs> I I I I is terrible. <laughs> Mm, you're scared of it mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's it's um it's a very um what's the word like um uh, it's, it's a beautiful it's a, but it's a i my family we to celebrate my birthday mm -hmm. oh okay <laughs> your, your birthday is also in uh, this week uh, yes, the Saturday. Mm -hmm. I was Saturday. Mm -hmm. Oh well, how convenient for you! How convenient that it like it was right on the vacation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm, okay, that's well. I'm I'm glad you had a really fun time. Okay, <laughs> thank yeah. you. Dean. Sounds like a, a blast, actually. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Delbert. How are you? Great teacher. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. How about you? Nice. Nice. It was okay. Just okay? Okay. Yes. My vacation is was okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. See, I, really, I really didn't go out. No? I stay at home, resting. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, at least you were able to rest. That's that. Yeah. That's something good. Yes, yeah. I, I I started the holidays, uh, on Holy Thursday. Mm -hmm. Well, no, like, and uh, I started uh, Wednesday, Holy Wednesday evening, mm -hmm. watching the soccer game Barcelona Real Madrid. Okay. Oh. Um, resting and. The rest of the vacation, I I was I was in my home. Oh, okay, okay, nice. Just relaxing a bit. Just relaxing, yeah. Oh, that's nice. What about you? Um, what about me? Oh well, um, I did quite a. F Let me see. Let me see. Oh my goodness, I'm I'm kind of lost. There are other vacations time. in in Turkey. Not they... no, not really. No. Um, oh, okay. I mean, vacations for me is simply because you know in El Salvador okay. there's vacation. Yeah. 
So um, um, let me see. Um, well, I I I did some um, I did some um, some uh, celebration um, from from church uh, about the the mm. Lord's evening meal. Mm. And um, yeah, so I did a little bit of that. And also, let's see. Um, we went. Um, we went actually on. What was it? Friday, I think it was. We went to um, this uh, island. Um, mm. In in this symbol, there are like. There's like a group of five. I think it's like four or five islands. They're called uh, the Princess Islands. Mm and um interesting yeah it, they're, they're smaller islands you have to take a ferry mm. and um so we went to to this the biggest island because they're like they're small islands and there's one that's like really really big <clears throat> so that island you can go um and rent bikes and like uh -huh. um and yeah it, it actually it's something really interesting about that island is that it you they're they're people are not allowed to have cars okay only um, bikes. only bikes yeah um just like like the, the the authorities like the police officers that everything have bikes sorry you have um have cars but everybody else has to have bikes or so you either bike or you bike or, or you or you walk <clears throat> I mean there's like these have kind a, of... um, I'm very into my culture hmm they they have a uh environmental environment culture oh 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 yeah or ecological yeah, culture eco yeah yeah ex yeah exactly on that island yes on that yeah. island um yeah so there's like no pollution basically uh, um yeah. and uh so we went biking and um they're like you know it's like a hill like a like there are like lots of hills so we went to like like really really high up we went biking and it was really interesting because um you know going up I had a I okay first of all I hadn't I hadn't ridden a bike in like years like almost like two decades okay. I think yeah I think like two two decades literally so I it was it was interesting because I you know I but it's something I had, that that <clears throat> never never forget yeah yeah exactly your your brain um you may check the um, your your brain remembers it. it um so that was okay but but it was hard at the beginning because first of all um the bikes were not the best in the best condition uh. so <laughs> <laughs> so it was like my bike no. was oh it was giving me a lot of trouble insecure mm -hmm. and but, but, yeah yeah it was not it's part of the it's the part adventure. of the yeah. adventure yeah yeah and it was uphill like one thing is to remember biking when you're like on a flat surface and the other thing is to start remembering how to bike going uphill oh it was horrible <laughs> but i find without yeah, break yeah exactly <laughs> um so my so my 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 bike was not very good so i had to switch with another friend who she she was like a more experienced biker so um <clears throat> or cyclist better side so um she switched bikes with me and once we did that i was okay because my bike was horrible my bike was really really bad, bad. But um, yeah, so so we did that and we went. It was, and um, the views from the top were amazing. Interesting. So, yeah, it was really really nice. So, yeah, so we did that on, on um, on Thursday. Oh no, so that was Friday. I just remember oh. that it was Friday, and um, <clears throat> Saturday, uh, we went. Uh, with my friends for a big Turkish breakfast. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Turkish breakfast. Uh, a big what? Sorry? Turkish yeah. breakfast. Breakfast. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever uh, seen a Turkish breakfast? No, really. Mm. <clears throat> okay, let me see if I can 
show you a picture of it. Turkish breakfasts are it's like very, very elaborate. Super elaborate. Um <clears throat> just to give you like like it's crazy just mm -hmm. to give you an idea. Let's see. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't I don't know if you guys oh hold on. Let's see if it, no. uh, I don't nope. see. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see if I can. I'm going to, maybe I'm going to do it from the computer. Yeah. It's probably going to be easier this way. Yes, I, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> Just give me a second, guys. Well, this well the the WhatsApp opens up. And wrong. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah. So we went for the the Turkish breakfast, and um, it was it was really interesting because like um, um, you know, we went with friends and um, just like the whole experience of having a Turkish breakfast is is quite amazing. Like to. Just to give you an idea, um, we had the Turkish breakfast at 12 midday. So it was like 12 noon. Wow. And, um, you know, because we we had the day before we had gone to 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 the um, to the bike ride. And so we were very tired. So we got up like late and we got to the place around 12. So we had it at 12. But I that's all I ate the whole day. I didn't need anything else. But it's a kind of, of food uh, between breakfast <clears throat> and lunch. Yeah, it's a yeah, exactly. It's 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 what we call brunch. Right. So um okay, all right. So I'm gonna show it right now. Mm -hmm. You guys see that? Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> it's, it's, uh, yeah. Much, much food. Yeah. I mean, there were there were, there were five <laughs> of us. Yeah, there were five of us. But is 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 a uh, fat is it is healthy? I I see. Oh because yeah. You have a a fruits vegetables. Yeah, we had bread, fruits. Yeah. Cereals. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Um, cheese. There's cheese. There's um. um and here I eating pupusas only. Yeah, wow. yeah. <laughs> no, it was a totally different thing. It was um very very different. Yeah. So, um yeah. So you can see. Yeah, it's very very healthy. It's not. It's nothing like. Yeah, it's like, not like in El Salvador where everything is fried. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So it's, it's different. Yeah. Yeah. So that was. Okay. The, <laughs> yeah yeah how, so, how was the weather in, in... oh that day it was beautiful weather it was like super sunny super sunny we we sat um on the terrace of okay. uh, you know and it was like i could feel like i was like in el salvador you know with the uh, sun <laughs> hitting me it was perfect it was really really nice um let's see and yesterday yesterday was a bad day for the weather um, okay. It was rainy, cloudy all day, but um, I had some friends that um, were visiting. Um, so uh, and like they were gonna, they're gonna be leaving like soon. So we went um, uh, to do like um, touristy things. It was really nice. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So <clears throat> okay. so yeah. Wow. That's that was that was it was very nice. It was a very nice. Very, nice yeah, it was a very nice vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Look at you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't, it's not like every day. I don't have, I don't do this every day. It's just, it was something different. It was, 
yeah it was a totally different experience so that's oh, nice congratulations nice. <laughs> yeah yeah thank you thank you for sharing yeah yeah so if you guys ever come to turkey you gotta do the turkish breakfast it's the best exactly yes. yeah healthy. Mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah it's healthy and and it's really delicious yeah yeah so, yeah, so it's, it's, it's good. good it's good yeah <laughs> yeah hello wow. romario how are you hello good night good evening. Uh, good evening. i'm good i'm good thank you yeah okay good how was your vacation um well i sort of feel like they were they were not enough <laughs> oh yeah yeah so I, was, I understand i felt uh exhausted and i feel like i, I didn't fully recover <laughs> Oh no, that's yeah. not good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You but, so you you need another vacation to recover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Oh, um, how many days of vacation did you have? Including Saturday and Sunday, four days. Four days. Oh, okay, okay. Four days. Yeah. Okay, well, <clears throat> well, you know, it was something. Not maybe yeah. <laughs> not as much as you wanted, but it was at least something, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Okay. What what did you do? Like um well, um I, I did travel. I I went to to Morasan. Uh, oh. To visit some family from my my mom's family and um that's that's it oh, okay. <laughs> and, and and then i i stayed home i slept as much as i i could mm. that, that, that's all. okay good 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 <laughs> well that's that's um it's always nice to be with the family and everything so that's good yeah oh well i'm glad you were able to to go out and do things yeah maybe that's one of the reasons i feel like i, I didn't fully recover because mm -hmm. um it's a little bit far there's uh, around four hours of driving oh to, yeah to, to get there yeah it's yeah so uh, and it was my responsibility to, to, to drive so mm, I feel okay. I felt not so recovered a little, a little bit tired. Yeah. yeah yeah I get it I get it yeah yeah you're right sometimes that that happens when you know you it, well I've, I've never driven but I've heard that driving can be very exhausting yeah <laughs> yeah yeah exactly some people like it and they feel like relaxed when they do driving like when they drive for long periods but other people say that it's really stressful so yeah i, I, I do it. i do i do like it but that four hours it's a, a bit mm. too much <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so like driving for like an hour or two it's good but four hours it's too much yeah yeah i get it i get it yeah what about um jorge hi teacher Hello, how are you? Uh, pretty good, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Starting a new week and a new week. Mm, yeah, but, that's always good. But the vacation, it it wasn't enough. No. No, because there are shorter, shorter, mm, or short, or shortened, shortened. Yeah. Yes, I I had five days. Oh. But uh, I spend most of the time with my family. Mm -hmm. uh, we go out. Let me see to a taco. Oh, okay, nice, nice. That was so good, and also I went to. Sifco to to watch the Spider Man and all of the the Comic Con. 
Oh, oh, do they do they still have that at Safeco? But uh, right now is, but right now Safeco is on on the Penadesal station. On what station? Penadesal is near is close to Exal the the college. Oh, okay. They so moved. they they moved it. They moved it because ah, the, yeah. the El Salvador Hospital. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's why I was asking if they still had it because I thought, ah, oh, okay. So they moved it. Mm, yes, okay. But, but the, the vacation was pretty good. Okay, good. But Monday is always difficult to, to be here because we are, I, I am kind of sleepy. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Oh, okay, okay. That's yeah, it. that's good. Well, I'm glad you, you had a, a, a good time. Yes, yeah. but I, I imagine you, you had the opportunity to know a, a lot of places there. Um. Uh, yeah, I had the opportunity to yeah, yeah. I I I moved around a little bit. It was it was nice. It was really really nice. But um yeah, yeah. There's always um yeah. It's just it, it, the thing is that here, um, in a simple uh, there's just lots of places um where you can go. Like for example, I was I was I was. You know, I was talking about going to the islands and it, to go to the islands, it's just, you just have to go on a ferry and the ferry is like public transportation. So it costs, the ferry costs like, how much is it? $10. It's like, it's like, le no, it's like less than, it's like, 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 like less than a, like a dollar fifty. Yeah. Yeah, because it's public transportation. Because people live people on the island uh they work in 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 mainland Istanbul. So they have to be traveling back and forth. It's about like an hour, hour and a half to get there. Yeah, so it's um yeah, so it's, it's it was it's really nice and it's very very accessible. Very accessible, but, but that place is close to the the big city, or yeah, yeah. Town? I mean, yeah, relatively. I mean, the thing is that Istanbul is a it's huge, like it's like an area. It's very, very, very big. Um, I'll I'll find out. Like I think it's like okay, so you know El Salvador. I think is like twenty one. Um. Uh, yeah, twenty one thousand kilometers squared, um, and in the case of Istanbul, um, let me see. So Istanbul, like the whole area of Istanbul, like um, not just the um the urban area but like the whole metro area is um a little over five thousand kilometers squared oh, so right. that's like one quarter of el salvador one quarter yeah okay yeah so just think, like uh -huh. imagine yeah imagine El Salvador divided into four, and one fourth of that is it's all of Istanbul. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so it's 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 really big, it's really really big. So, um, those islands are part of Istanbul, and yeah, they're about an hour, like on, like they're actually not that far away. Like it's only it only takes an hour and a half because the ferry is visiting each um each island like it stops at each island 
So that's the only reason. If it was going straight, it would probably be like 40 minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. That, that's, the, that's the only reason. And yeah. do you consider that country is dangerous for people like Latinos, for example? Dangerous? No. No. No, 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 no. Um, Turkey is a very safe country. Very, very safe. Um, I like in terms of like um, um, uh, you know, delinquency and things like that. Like, I even feel safer in Turkey than I do sometimes in Canada. It's really safe. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, like if you lose, for example, it's um, it's really it's really frowned upon to like uh steal so if um if you lose your your cell phone or everything um you probably are going to find it like if you if you leave it like my friend when when one day like uh, probably like three weeks ago um three or four weeks ago my friend she lost her phone she forgot it in a, in one of the stores and um the next day they called the store and it was there she got it back so mm -hmm. yeah people are very yeah. very honest that way something that would never happen in El Salvador <laughs> yeah exactly all right um well guys uh I would love to continue talking to each one of you guys but um we need to do the attendance and um, I see that there are some people that just connected and um, I need you guys, if you can turn on your cameras for me, that'd be wonderful. Okay, so, um, Cristia? Is Cristia here? No. Okay. Um, Delbert? Present, teacher. Okay. Um, the uh, Diana. Present. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Jennifer. Jennifer Elizabeth. No, not here. Okay. Uh, Jorge. Present. Wonderful. Manuel Antonio. Manuel Antonio, not here. Uh, Maria Elena. Maria Elena, no, not here. Uh, Mario Ernesto. Presentation. Okay, welcome. Mario Jose. <laughs> Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Norma Carolina. Norma Carolina, no, okay. Um, Romario. Present. All right, wonderful. Silvia Suleima. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Susana Beatriz. Present teacher. Excellent. And Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Wendy, do me a favor. I need you to uh, write your name, complete your complete name. Can you do that for me? Sorry, teacher. My name is was complete. Yeah, sometimes sometimes it, it it changes for some reason. It's a I have a problem with the account for mm. Zoom. Okay, okay, no problem. Just just if you can change it, are you able to change it? I don't. I don't. Um. Yeah. yeah? Okay. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Well, no. Okay. All right. So guys, just remember, I need your cameras on. Okay. So, um, you know, Diana Elizabeth, 
Suleyma, Mario, if you can just remember that um, you need to have your cameras on because I cannot see you. Teacher, I am using my cell phone and mm -hmm. I don't I don't use the camera. Uh, why would happen to the camera? Uh because I I no sé cómo hacer. Um porque estoy poniéndole atención a, a su presentación por eso. Mm. But right now I'm not presenting anything. I do understand. Yes, uh, because I I I use only the the cell phone for this class, and because I don't I don't use the camera. Okay, but um, I. I'm sorry, I I I don't quite understand. Um, okay, so you can't use the camera? Is that the problem? So no puedo usar la cámara? Yes, teacher, in this cell phone, uh, I don't, I can use my my camera. You can't use your camera in the cell phone. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And um, right now you you don't have any other like computers or cell phone. Uh, right now, no. Oh, okay, okay. Only okay. cell phone. All right. Um, is that for just today or all the time? Uh, no, for this day. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No problem. All right. Okay. okay, great. And um Mario, Mario Ernesto, we can't see you either. Are you there? Mario Ernesto? No? Okay. All right, guys. Okay, so we're gonna start. Um, can you guys see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. All right. So, um, all right. So this is the course uh, English for Work program, Advanced Module Two. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Oops, hold on. Uh, Jessica Guerrero, the date is April 10th, 2023, and this is the 11th class. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to start our class by reading about ethics at the workplace. So what are ethics at the workplace? Uh, we have three paragraphs here, and I would like to ask for three volunteers to help us read. Me, teacher. Okay. Jorge, you can read the first one. Who wants to set, read the second paragraph? Me, teacher. Delbert? Okay, perfect. And the last paragraph? Just reading, guys. Only reading. Me. Uh, okay, hold on. Who's, who's me? I can't see. Oh, Romario. Okay, gone. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so guys, um, what we're going to do is we're going to read out loud. And for the rest of you guys, the, the rest of the class, I want you to write down any words that you don't understand and of words that you don't, you're not sure how to pronounce. Okay, so words that you don't understand and words that you don't know how to pronounce. Write them down so that we can talk about them in a moment, okay? All right, so let's start with uh, the first. Go ahead. Me, mm -hmm. Yeah. Workplace ethics, ethics refers to a specific set of moral and legal 
guidelines that organization may abide by. These gu guidelines typi typically influence the way employees and customers alike interact with an organization. In essence, workplace ethics give how organizations ser serve their clients and how they treat their employees. Thank you. Um, next paragraph. Okay. Uh, for example, if a company has expressed that they are committed ethically to fulfilling the promise that they make, they may establish robust support process that address the specific policy and help customers feel careful. From here, the same company may create specific incentive programs to encourage employees to produce high quality work and make sure that they follow through the fulfilling such promise when goals are met. Thank you, next. When organizations create explicit ethical goals, they may design their processes and procedures to support such initiatives. In most cases, organizations employ workplace ethics to improve their, the lives and productivity of stakeholders specifically. In some situations, though, organizations may create ethical codes that simultaneously benefit the public's perception of their operations. Here are a few examples of common ethics organizations may establish in the workplace. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Round of applause for the three guys that read. Okay, excellent. All right, so, um, all right, so I'm, I'm guessing everybody uh, followed the reading. So, if you want, you can write in the chat any words that you were having problems with the pronunciation. Okay, so just the further pronunciation. Um, we'll we'll we will wait for everybody to write down all the words, and then we'll give the pronunciation of the words. Okay, so I ha I see that Jorge wrote one. Any other words that you guys had problems with? Well, this is only for pronunciation. Okay, good, yes. <laughs> good, good. Any others? Okay, that's it? Oh, and the whole, the three, the whole three paragraphs, that was, those are the only words? Okay, all right, let me just add one more word then, because, yeah. Okay, all right, so, all right, so everybody, I want everybody to practice the, the vocabulary with me. So it's abide. Abide. Everybody, abide. Abide. I want to hear abide. you. Abide. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Abide. Yes. Abide. Excellent. Okay. Next word. Stakeholders. 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 Yeah. Stakeholders. Stakeholders. Everybody. Stakeholders. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. Next procedures. 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 Mm -hmm. Procedures. 
procedures. procedures. Yeah, procedures. Procedures. Yeah, okay. Next, encourage. 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 Okay, good. And the other one is guide. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. Um, it's, are, are those all the words or uh, do you guys have any other words? No. Okay. All right. Now, in the ch in the chat, I want you to write down words that you don't understand the meaning. Same ones. Any other words? Okay. All right. Anything else? Okay. All right. So the first one is abide, um, which is, or abide by, right? Which is basically a means to go by the rules. Yeah. So it means to like, um, a to stick to stick to something uh, for example um a please um when okay so when when you are um a, when you are a citizen of a country um you have to abide by the rules or the laws of the country because if you don't you will be arrested and you can go to jail so it means that you have to follow you have to stick to them you have to be obedient to those laws does that make sense yes. yeah it's like the, the police have to keep uh, by the rules, something like that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, so it means um, that you have to um, follow. It's basically like to follow uh, rules or follow guidelines, things like that. That's abide, to stick to it. Yeah? Go straight could be... Uh other way to say that or not like uh, uh, sorry like, would you would you repeat the question like go you can use the word go straight or or like follow the rules yeah I want I mean, to do something yeah. to go go straight without uh Desviation, how do you say deviations? Um strain without with, without deviations. Um, yeah, without, uh, without strain from, from the path. Okay. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So it basically just uh, just a very simple way to follow rules. Okay. 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 Um, stakeholders. Uh, it depends on the context. Um, 
Let me just make sure that in, in this context, in this case, should employees employ workplace standards. Yeah, so um Okay, so stakeholder is usually somebody that shares that owns or shares part of a business. Okay. Um okay. Eh, so um if if uh somebody invests um in in a business they are a stakeholder okay so um they they share they they own part of the business yeah okay does that make sense yes okay um in fulfilling um it means that it makes you feel fulfilled um oh wait a sec actually this one's used as a verb they follow through on fulfilling yeah to fulfill means to um comply with to to um um a, when you know there's like a uh requirements and you you um make sure that you do you do what you have to do to um uh, to uh complete those requirements yeah those that's fulfill does that make sense like complete something mm -hmm. yeah yeah to complete yeah, like, but basically, it's complete, like, um, like requirements. Yeah, to complete requirements. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, great. Okay, so, do you notice that at the very end of our last paragraph, it says, "Here are a few examples of common ethics organizations may establish in the workplace." So. What we're going to do, I am going to divide the class into a few groups. I think everything through three groups. And I'm going to each give you guys one PowerPoint. Um, I have I have a few PowerPoints that we're going to be um, we're going to share after. And each group is going to have one power. Uh, sorry, one PowerPoint that they're going to be reading and they're going to share that information with um, other people from the class. So you're first you're gonna read it as a group. You're gonna understand the information. You can ask me questions about pronunciation, about uh, the meaning of words as I, as I um, travel through the different groups. And um, when you're finished, uh, you were going to then share your information with other groups. Does that make sense? Uh, just repeat the part of the the content of the of the presentation. Okay, so okay, so as you can see, okay, I'm going to show you I have some PowerPoint. See actually wait 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 before before anything Let's talk about the ethics here. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so I'm sorry, guys. Um, I forgot there was this part that we needed to talk about first. Okay, so here are some of the ethics that we're going to be talking about. Okay. Um, we have accountability. And you guys can repeat these words, like, with your microphone closed. Um, just repeat it so you know the pronunciation. Accountability. 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 Mm -hmm. Accountability. Mm -hmm. Good. Responsibility. 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 Good. Equality. 
equality. equality. Mm -hmm. Transparency. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Trust. 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 Mm -hmm. Trust. Fulfilling promises. Fulfilling, Fulfilling promises. promises. Fulfilling promises. Fulfilling promises. promises. Mm -hmm. Loyalty. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Fairness. 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 Cooperation. 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 Dedication. 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 Discipline. 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 Professionalism. 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 Mm -hmm. Sustainability. 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 Legality. 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 Okay, good. All right. Uh, any questions about this, these ethics? I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the difference between accountability and responsibility? Mm. Good question. Okay, so responsibility is um, that you know that you are responsible for something, right? So you have, um, so a, people depend on you for something yeah that's responsibility yeah so you uh you know that um you need to uh you you need to do something that's the responsibility whereas accountability is more about um okay not only am i responsible but if I did something right or I did something wrong, then I need to, uh, I need to um, accept the consequences, whether it is that I, it was something good or something bad. That's accountability. So um, it, it goes beyond just responsibility. It means that, that you um you accept like the consequences of whatever your actions are it's about moral yeah like yeah well all of these ethics here are about morals too right so um yeah so a basically that you ex yeah so accountability is that um you, responsibility. Yeah, exactly. You ex but you accept a responsibility, uh, or better said, you accept um the consequences of your actions, um, whether they are good or bad. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So um so it means that you, um, um, you you accept that you have a responsibility, and that you need to um, answer to someone for that responsibility. So there's always somebody that is like supervising over that responsibility and you have to answer to that person. Okay. Um, and to give you an example, um, many times, and this is like in general, 
like many times uh, in politics, people know that they have responsibility, but they don't have accountability. So they don't accept and say, oh yeah, I, I did, I made a mistake. Oh, I should have done this. They don't accept that. So that's accountability. So to accept that you had that responsibility and you acted in a certain way. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Any other questions that you guys have? No? No? Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do now. Oh, wait a second, guys. Sorry. I forgot there was here. Okay. So why ethics in the workplace is important. Um, I need three volunteers again but preferably so that everybody has a chance, maybe we can um, have different people reading. So who would like to help me out with the reading? Me, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Mario Jose. Um, okay, so Mario Jose, you can read the first paragraph. Diana, thank you very much. You can read the second paragraph. And I need one more volunteer. Anybody? Just reading. That's, that's, that's all it is. It's just reading. Come on. Who else? Come on, girls. Let me teach you. Uh, let me see who's, who's me. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, Suleyma, wonderful. Okay, so Suleyma, you can do the last paragraph. Okay, let's begin the first one. And remember the same the same thing. Um, as you read along, write down words that you don't understand, um, and words that you don't know the the pronunciation. Okay, so go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Why the ethics and the workplace is important. Workplace ethics are an incredible, important part of forming a successful organization with satisfied and loyal team members. High ethical standards can help stakeholders like employees, investors, customers, and other individuals involved with workplace operations feel that the organization is safeguarding their interests by purposefully building ethical guidelines into the structure, organizations can keep their employees' best interests in mind while maintaining a positive influence on those they impact through their processes. Thank you. All right, next. In turn, Employees and other stakeholders will typically follow suit and maintain the organization's best interest through acting ethically in their day-to-day -day duties. For example, I, sorry. if an employee is treated fairly and understands an organization's commitment to accountability and environmental sustainability, they are typically less likely to commit environmentally harmful behavior that might contrib contribute negatively to an organization's public image. With this, workplace ethics help establish a reciprocal relationship that benefits organizations at large and the individuals influenced by organizational operations. This type of initiative may help organizations and employees alike enjoy particular 
advancement, like <clears throat> heightened producti productivity and increased employee satisf satisfaction. When employees understand and perceive their organization's commitment to high ethical standards, they may become more devout or in their roles and express pride in being part of such an organization. This type of transformation can be key in fostering organizational effectiveness. <clears throat> this mode of conduct is often referred to as organizational citizen, citizenship, an employee behavior phenomenon where team members voluntarily pre pledge themselves to acting positive, positive, positively, constructively, and with um, Growth in mind. Oh. Growth in mind. Growth in mind. Yeah, I think I think maybe you couldn't see that last part. I think yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Oops, sorry. Ah, okay. All right. Thank you very much. And applause for the people that read. Very good. Okay. All right. So once again, I need you guys to write in the chat words that you don't know the pronunciation only pronunciation guys okay and we're going to wait until everybody writes their words Any words that you don't know how to pronounce? Any other words? Hey, hey, what is the pronunciation? Okay, so you can write it in the chat. Write the word that you're having problems with in the chat. Okay. All right, guys. So, is that it? Are those all the words? Okay. All right. So, we'll start with the first one. The first one is purposefully. Purposefully. Just like, in, like, just think, just think of purpose and then fully. Purposefully. 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 Yes. Purposefully. Mm -hmm. Okay, purposefully. Good. All right, then we have suit. Suit. Yeah, suit. Suit. Oh. Suit. suit. Mm -hmm. Good. Suit. So it's not sweet, it's suit. Suit. Next, reciprocal. Reciprocal. 
yeah, reciprocal. 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 Yeah, reciprocal. Reciprocal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, next, negatively. Sorry, negatively. Negative. Negatively. Yeah. Negatively. Negatively. Yeah, so the stress is in the first syllable. Negatively. Negatively. Mm -hmm. Correct. Then it's harmful. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Harmful. Yeah. Then it's advancements. Advancement. Advancement. Yeah. Advancements. Advancements. Mm -hmm. Advancements. Good. And heightened. 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 Mm-hmm. Good. Heightened. All right. Anything else, guys? Pledge. 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 Oh, oh yeah. Okay, I just saw it right now. Okay, pledge. 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 Yeah, pledge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? No. Good. Okay. Oh, oh okay. I just saw it. Uh voluntarily. Last one is voluntarily. You want to repeat? Voluntarily. 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 Yes, voluntarily. voluntarily. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? No? Okay, yeah. all right, perfect. Okay, now let's go into the, sorry, that's what's the pronunciation. Let's go into the meaning. So you can write down any words that you don't understand the meaning. Only one word? Really? Okay. All right, so we're bringing in those words. That's it? Only two words, guys? You sure? Okay. All right. Okay. Um, just help me with something, guys. Uh, uh Romario, where is fostering in which paragraph? One, two, three, which paragraph? It's in the third paragraph. In third, okay. The it's four, just that the fourth line at the oh, okay. German organizational. Almost the end. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure because fostering could have like many different meanings. So um okay, so in this case, uh fostering means to like um encourage um encourage the um the progress um of something, right? So in this case, encourage the progress of the organizational effectiveness so to like kind of like make it increase go up yeah does that make sense yeah okay 
stop me if you don't if you're not sure so it's okay you can you can tell me teacher i don't understand so it's okay all right um heightened um heightened like um it to um it's like um to make something feel um stronger okay so um to um well, hold on, just, um, first of all, uh, Jorge, can you tell me which paragraph heightened is in? The third and the second line. Mm, okay. Yeah, so heightened means like, yeah, so it's like to, uh, to make something emphasized stronger, okay? So in this case, like heightened Pro, uh, productivity so it means the productivity is made stronger made bigger okay um yeah stronger bigger em em emphasized okay that's heightened okay all right so is that it only those two words Okay. All right, guys. So um, any problems so far understanding the context? Not at all. No? So far so good? Yes, teacher. Okay. Very good. All right. So let's talk about now the benefits let's talk about the benefits of using ethics in the workplace okay so we know sorry we know what ethics are we've talked about different um different ethics um and the importance of it right um let's talk about now the benefits of using it so can somebody help me to read this this paragraph Okay, go for it. Okay. There are various benefits to using ethics in the workplace. Leaders, stakeholders, and the general public alike can experience significant improvements when organizations hold themselves to high ethical standards. Here are a few of the primary benefits that result from employing ethics in the workplace. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Um, you can write in the chat, starting off with pronunciation. Not the chat. You sure? You sure? It's clear. Yeah. All right, what about the meaning of words? Okay. Any other meaning? Okay. So in this case, um, the alike, the word alike just means um also okay also or like the same okay i like or like so also or the same so the general public this the same as like leaders and stakeholders this is saying anything okay. else Mm 
Yeah, that's it. Okay, perfect. All right, so if you notice, it says here are a few of the primary benefits that result from employing ethic employing ethics in the workplace. So now, sorry guys, I had I had confused the PowerPoints before. So now what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be dividing you guys into groups and I'm going to be sharing a PowerPoint so you can read the benefits of the um, of employing ethics in the workplace. So there, there are a few different points that we're going to be talking about, and um, I want you to read about them in your group. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay, let me just give me a second, guys. Just going to make sure... Yeah, okay, so there are three in total. Um, there are three groups that we're gonna have to make. Okay, so, um, all right, so first of all, I need to make sure that everybody's here. So Diana, are you there? Diana? Diana and Elizabeth. Hmm. Diana Elizabeth, are you there? Okay. Um, Sulema, are you there? Yes, it. Okay. Wonderful. Excellent. Um, and Mario Ernesto, are you there? Mario Ernesto? Hello? Mario Ernesto? No se encuentra. Okay. Um, Mario Jose, are you there? Okay, there you are. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm yeah, going. I'm okay, wonderful. Um, so I'm going to split you guys into groups right now. Um, hopefully you have at least um, a, a partner, at least. Okay. Um, second. Okay. All right. So like I said, I'm going to um share one powerpoint which e with each group and you will have the opportunity of reading two of the benefits okay so i'm going to come around when when i when i open the groups i'm going to come around and share the 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 slide that i want you to read okay sounds good okay Okay, all right, perfect. So here we go, let's open the groups. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, hold on. Okay, so um, I'm going to share right now in the group. I'm going to share the PowerPoint that I want you to work on. In the WhatsApp group, teacher? No, or in the group. Yeah. Okay. okay, you have it? Yes, we have it. Okay, perfect. All right, so go ahead and read that information and I'll see. And um, I'll be, you know, coming in and checking up on you guys. Okay. Okay. Right. See you soon. See you. Okay. Okay. Benefits of using. All right. Um. Sleep. 
Suleima. Wendy, are you there? Hello, teacher. Hello. Yes. Yes. Um, hello, Suleima, are you there? Suleima? Yes. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to send you guys right now the um the PowerPoint so that you guys can so you guys can discuss it. Okay. So here we go. Okay. All right, so girls, you have it? Chicas? Sorry, teacher. Okay. Wendy, when, when Suleima, Suleima Sayi. Just teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay. So you can read the information that I just sent. Okay. Mario Jose, are you there? Yeah, teacher. Uh, okay. For them, was that? Uh, okay. When I try to come in, something's happening. I could, but I'm here now. Okay, no problem. So yeah. I just sent um in the chat the information. Can you see it? Uh, no, I, I can't see it because uh, I I I go to go out to the meeting and coming again. Okay, so you okay, so you can't see it. All right, so I'll I'll send it again. Okay, that should. Can you see it now? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, okay, so yeah, all right, there you go. So you guys can discuss it. Okay. Okay. Uh, the teacher here. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, guys. Um, Are you sharing this, this slide yeah, for us? Right now, I'm sharing that. Okay. okay. Can you see it? Uh, in the chat, right? Yeah, in the chat. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, we, we do. Uh, you can see it? We can. Uh, okay. All right, perfect. So you guys okay. can go ahead and read it and discuss it, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, you want Let, me to start? Oh, give me a moment, please. I, I'm going to, to download it. Let me see. Oh, okay. okay. Here I am. Um, if if you want, uh, you you can read the one paragraph, and I read the second paragraph, and and I do third. <laughs> and you third. Yeah. Okay. okay, go ahead. Customer engagement and loyalty. If an organization is client facing, instilling specific ethical workplace standards. Instilling or installing, installing specific ethical workplace standards can help in encourage increased customer engagement and loyalty. Often, customers will be more willing to engage with explicitly ethical companies than those with fewer ethical initiatives. As mentioned above, Companies serve the employees and stakeholders with with accountability and responsibility. They can garner a certain level of respect in their public reputation. Okay. Uh, with this customer 
may feel more comfortable promoting an organization or spending their money with such companies. Over time, as an organization maintains a robust system of workplace ethics, their reputation may solidify. This can result in a high tenor customer loyalty. When customers and clients trust an organization, they will return to the organization repeatedly and engage on a deeper level. Streamlined decision-making processes. When organizations establish ethical codes of conduct in the workplace, they foster a culture designed to uphold such standards. These guidelines can guidelines can help organizational leaders make streamlined decisions and solve problems efficiently when challenges arise. When leaders, when leaders have specific ethical expectations set out for them, they can use these expectations. Hello, guys. Wendy, Mario Jose. Yes, teacher. Hi. Uh, what happened? Uh, at the moment, I'm just reading the uh, the paragraph and trying to understand what, uh, okay, uh, what but are you, the benefits. Yeah. You, you should be doing it together. Okay, so um, Wendy, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, so you should be working together with Mario Jose, talking about it, reading it together. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so go ahead. Sorry, okay. Uh, benefits of using the ethics in the workplace is maintaining legal compliance. Uh, you say that the, often the ethical standards that organizations set up for themselves correspond directly with legal guidelines. For example, manufacturing company that expresses a strong commitment to eco friendly practices. Sustainability may also be subject to compli complying with legal guidelines for st sustainability, sustainable waste removal procedures to avoid environmental pollution. Operational operations is, uh, is like uh, how the people can see the, the organization and, and the environment that the people are involved in this, in, in the company, for, ex, for example. Uh -huh. uh, but here uh -huh. is the teacher. Yes. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, hello, we, we read the, the articles. Uh -huh. And now the, the question is what, we have to do uh, um, or... so the same thing what we've been doing uh first of all try to understand the meaning of the words uh the pronunciation the ideas so that you are able to um explain to another group when i switch you around so mm -hmm. you your group has to benefits that you have to talk about 
another group has another two benefits and the other group has another two benefits. So then later I'm going to switch around your groups so that you guys can share the information. Uh, but first of all, we have to identify the the words that we don't know the meaning and the the word that we we can pro pronounce. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, and mm -hmm. we we have. Uh, Type this word in the chat or in a paper, a part of the. Um, you can write them in in um, wherever you you prefer, and then um, the thing is that when I come around, like right now, you can ask me what the words are. Okay. Okay. Leave to them, please, and act as a contemplate. So, what the public, for instance, as consumers, have become more interested in by making friends such the current deal as far for the natural drama. They have started to examine in the waste company manufacturing market products. This movement has led to the creation of new consumer market for clean products and services in which sustainable companies are fueled more fabricity, fabricity, fabricity. Therefore, acting ethically can significantly improve an organization for the image and avoid potential criticisms that will arise through unethical behavior. Mm. Do you have questions about the vocabulary, the meaning? Uh, or vocabulary? Let's say, uh, let me check it because I, I saw one word about, uh, let's see where did I, Not uh, Wait. not for meaning, but for pronunciation. I, I I have a kind of issue with the word like fabrally and all the words like that. Uh, and can you can in, you write in the chat? Yeah, let me. Let me do it. Let... Abruptly. I guess, favorite. All, all, all oh. the words that. 
the favorably. Ten. Favorably? Yeah, favorably. Favorably. Because yeah. all the words that end L and Y, uh, some things make me uh, kind of hard to mm. pronounce. Yeah, it's blee. So favorably. 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 Yeah. Wendy, are you there? Wendy Maribel, I cannot see you. Are you there? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, because we can't see you. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's okay. Sorry. Oh, okay. There you are. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Um, do you have questions about the pronunciation, the meaning? No, uh, your your microphone is off. No, no, teacher. Mm. You sure? You you sure it's it's okay? Hello. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, good. Um, I'm going to continue going to the next group, okay? So you guys continue talking about the meaning and make sure you understand it because you have to explain it to your other to the other members when when I switch you around. Okay. And put uh, the customer and employees happy, maybe. And you machine in the internet. Let me see if I, yeah. if I if I found something or or, or you or you found something. Um, I can. I'm trying to think in a company that has a reputation. <laughs> Uh, with a good reputation. Let me see um, which which company could be. Let me see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I can think. I can think about. I can think of a company that has a good reputation. That is like. Um, what do you think, Lego? Lego. Well, but I, I think that for. It, it sort of it refers like it refers to a company that makes something positive to the to the society mm -hmm. that I don't know what Lego does to to, to the society. Okay, let me see. Let me see something like uh, um I found this image. <laughs> it's for the second well, second well, paragraph. Let, let me see. If you don't have standards or difficult, uh, it can be difficult or complex ah, yes. to to resolve some situation. But if you have all of these, uh, it's simple. Like um, 
straight uh -huh. straight leg. <laughs> it's good. Good, good, good. Let me let me put it in it. It's like Okay. All right, guys, are you finished? Uh, we have some questions, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, go ahead and tell me. Uh, the meaning of laterally. The meaning of? Laterally. Laterally. In the second line, uh, is like lateralmente. I imagine lateral. Okay, can you can you write in the chat? Okay. Lateral. Lateral. Um, lateral. Um, lateral. Is it like the laterals, like the sides? But let me just make sure you're number two, right? Uh, where is where is laterally in the maintained legal compliment, uh, competence, uh, or improved line of employee satisfaction? Just give me a moment. Oh, your group number one. Never mind. Okay, in the second line. Oh. Okay, hold on. They usually treat boys better and angry. Le yeah, in this case, okay, so it says they usually treat employees better and encourage staff to act laterally under the same premises. So um, it, it's like it's like side by side, lateral, like on the sides, yeah. So the same, it's like in the, in the same way. In the same direction. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. But it's okay. not uh, like unilaterally. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not, not like it's not like unilaterally. Mm, no, it just means like it's almost like saying like parallel. Mm -hmm. you, you know parallel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. In the same in the same direction. Aligned. Aligned. That's kind of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Other okay. word, the meaning is well being. Well being. Would you do me a favor of writing it in the chat? Okay. Well being. <laughs> Oh, well-being. Um, uh, the health, something that's good for someone. Okay, so um, I I I am worried about your well-being. So it means I'm worried about your health, about. Um, you know, that you are, are safe, that you are good. If I'm not sick or something mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But is when yeah. you are worried about that. No, uh, no, just, well, well-being just like in general health. Okay. Like you're, yeah, like, yeah, that you are safe. Um, So like in, yeah. in Spanish, well-being, bienestar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And also, I have upholding. Okay. Uh, upholding. Second. 
Where do you see the upholding? Upholding, let me check. Um, it depends on the meaning, so that's why I'm asking. Upholding is in this in the paragraph to improve workplace culture in the uh -huh. third language. Third. Third line. Oh, okay. To con like in this case, it means to continue. Okay, so yeah, may feel responsible for continuing the same ethical standards. Upholding means like continuing. Con in this context, yes. In this context, yes. Or depends depends on the context. It depends on the context. That's right. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it could also mean to support, to support, confirm, but in this context, it means more like to continue to um, maintain. Okay. Okay. I don't know if Susanna has other other words. Susanna, do you have other words? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. The taper and the chat teacher. Please, and yes. Oh. And courage. Courage. Encourage. Encourage yeah. means to, yeah. well, it depends on the context as well, but encourage means to, like, um, eh, to um, make the person uh, feel like they could, they should continue doing something, like saying like, you know, like, oh, do, don't, yeah, go ahead, come on, you can do it, you know, so you encourage them, so you're telling, you're, you're um, supporting them so that they continue doing something. But it's not like bother. No, 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 it's, no, it's something good. To encourage is to, um, motivate. yeah, to motivate. Yeah, it's a very good word. Yeah, to motivate. It's similar to uh, animation. No. Similar to what? Similar to uh, animation. No, animation is a no. set animation. Uh-huh. No. Yeah. O animar. No, that's, animar. no, that's, that, yeah, that's encourage. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything okay. else? Any other problems? Any other questions? Any other good yeah. well baking? Yeah. We did you hear? Um, we were talking about with what about well being? Well being about health. Yeah. Um. I can't hear you, Susana. So similar, okay. Cherry Sana. Yeah, it's, okay. it's like it's like being like um, like well being. It's like having like good health, you know, to to be in a good physical condition, or even mental condition too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Not okay. okay, perfect. All right, I'll see you in the main room in a moment, okay? Okay. Are you guys ready? You're finished? Uh, yeah, I already... Yeah. To okay. Yeah. okay, good. Excellent. All right. I'll see you in the main room in a moment then. All right, guys. Are you finished? 
Are you guys finished? Uh, we almost finished. Okay. We almost. All right. Um, I'm going to have to bring you back to the main room because um, our time is up. Okay. Uh -huh. like it's okay. It's okay. Um, do you have any questions you want to ask before we continue? Before uh, I take you back? No. Oh. no? Okay. No, no, All right. Perfect. See you in the main room then. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. All right. Okay, so we are going to just um, uh, take our attendance because it will probably come to the end of the class and we're going to we're going to continue with this activity tomorrow. So you will have a chance to share what you learned with um, other groups, okay? So right now, let's just start with um, the attendance, Christia, Delbert. Here I am. Diana. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jorge, Jorge Humberto. Okay, good. Manuel Antonio. Manuel Antonio. María Elena. Mario Ernesto. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, good. Mario José. I'm your teacher. Okay, great. Norma? Norma? Okay. Romario? Present. Wonderful. By the way, Romario, today we have our, our, our session together. Okay, so you can stay after the class. Oh. Um, Suleyma? Suleyma? Okay, Susana? Present teacher. Oh, wonderful. Okay. And Wendy? Present teacher. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Okay, guys. So that's going to be all for today. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. So take care. All right. And have a good evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, good night. Good night. All right. Hello, Romario. Hello. Okay. How are you? Good. I liked this class <laughs> because I felt like we practice a little bit more. Mm, okay. So good. Speaking and reading. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Okay. All right. Excellent. Uh, did you understand it well? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, were there any problems that you had with uh, vocabulary or meaning of like uh, the, the pronunciation words, anything at all? Well, um, I don't have any specific words. It, sometimes um, I have doubts in where the accent is in some words, <laughs> mm -hmm. but that, that's all, that's all. Okay, okay. Um, all right, so yeah, with the accent thing, um, or I'm, I'm thinking that you're talking about like the stress, the stress yeah, the of the, stress. okay, yeah, okay. So yeah, um, in English, well, it's going to, it, 
each word is going to be different, right? So that's first. Um, but in general, we can say that the rule in English is that most words have the stress on the first syllable. Okay. First. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe about, um, I would say about 60% of the words, 60, 65% of the words in English have the stress on the first syllable. Okay. So that, so always try to put it on the first syllable and see if it makes sense. If it makes sense, then, then it's probably on the first syllable. Okay, there are some exceptions to rule, right? But um, normally we do it like in English, most words have the first syllable stressed. Okay, so um, like English, it's not English, it's English. Yeah, I have trouble with consider. <laughs> for 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 a long time, I I, I pronunciated like consider. Oh, and, yeah. and I didn't know it was considered. So considered, one, yeah. One day I, I heard it, and I, I, I heard it different mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. than, than how I I pronounce, pronounce it, and pronounce I, it. I, no, you 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 were right the first one. Pronounce it. Uh, mm -hmm. Pronounce it, and and I I went to to Google Translate, and I I wrote it, mm -hmm. and. I pushed the the I don't know the the symbol of pronunciation and, mm -hmm, and I mm -hmm. heard consider yeah. and I was like I was uh, engañado <laughs> all this time. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, exactly. You like you feel like from... deceived, deceived, yes. engañado, deceived. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So con so notice it's cons. So this is it's not considered, but considered. So the stress is on second syllable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like I said, there are exceptions, especially when the basically where it where it might change is when there are like three syllables, but usually, usually, when it's only one, like if it's only like two syllables, and most words in English are like like short like they're two syllables so when they're like only two syllables the majority of them have a, the stress in the first syllable okay so that's a rule the other thing is that um there are some words that will change um depending on of if they are verbs or nouns so to give you an example um i'll write the word in the chat I think that's what happened with, with lives and lives, maybe. <laughs> live, the verb live and the noun live. Oh, yeah, yeah. Although that's only one syllable. But usually, like, for example, words like this one, like the one I wrote in the chat, it's going to depend on what it is. Like, um, if it's like, uh, if it's the verb, you're going to, well, actually, if it's a verb, um, it's going to look like this. So we're going to say record. Word. The stress is on the second syllable, record. Okay. But if it's the noun, the stress is going to be on the first syllable. So it's going to look like this. Record. 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 Mm -hmm. Record. Yeah. Okay, so so it's it's so the verbs have the syllable, sorry, the stress syllable on the second syllable, and the nouns have the stress syllable on the first syllable. So with with when when a word can be both. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, um, and then there's like other words, like words that finish in shen, like all those words like um, election, education, um, direction. This like the stress is going to be on the syllable that is right before the shen. So, for example. Um, 
Perfection. Hmm? Perfection. Perfection, yeah, exactly. Education. Perfection. Right. Perfection. So the stress is on the second. So it's, it's in the syllable before the shen, right? Um, station. Well, yeah. So station. Um, well, what else? Anything else? Uh, repetition. So, so we have repetition. Notice repetition. Repetition. Yeah. Reputation. So, yeah. <laughs> Reputation, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So all those ones that finish in shun, we're gonna put the stress on the um on the on the on the syllable before. Even like even if it doesn't finish in um in like like session. So it's session. So notice session um does not like session finishes in s i o n not t i o n but it still is a, the syllable is the first one that is the one before it which is ses so session session, session. Mm -hmm. okay so some some things that you can keep in mind yeah I have better idea mm -hmm. clearer clearer idea <laughs> yeah exactly it'll be clear that way yeah L like i said there's always exceptions to the rule but that's kind of like the the main idea mm -hmm. okay right. Any yeah anything else any any other questions that you may have from it No, maybe uh, I wanted to know if there's a rule when creating um, how adjectives that are have two two words like com complex adjectives. Or, I, I don't remember the word, but an adjective like. Um, oval shape it for example oh those yeah um those are um compound adjectives compound adjectives mm -hmm. uh, basically I, I wanted to know if there's a rule how to i've seen a lot of those adjectives for example fast moving i don't know slow motion <laughs> Mm -hmm. But I see differences between, for example, fast moving, oval shaped, shaped and moving. Uh, I, I think there are, well, they are nouns, I think. Oval and fast are the adjectives. Well, I, I don't know, but <laughs> maybe. It's another class, or I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, I'm not sure exactly what the question is. If there's a rule to create or to 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 give form to these adjectives, uh, if, well, if it's a present participle or a past participle, or what is, or how to create them? Yeah, how to create them. Okay. Yeah. So, um, usually, uh, we use a um, an a, a, an adjective, um, or or an adverb, uh, with together with a present or past participle. Do you remember present and part of past participles? Yeah. Okay, so present participles are the ones that use the ing. 
right? So uh, moving, working, playing, sleeping, et cetera, et cetera. Right, so the ing, and um, and the past participles are all those ones usually ending in ed, usually because the regular ones are different, right? Um, so like taken, taken is is irregular, so that's not going to add in end in ed. But so we have either the um, so we have the um. Um, the the adjective plus the the present or the past participle. That's how you make those compound now at those compound adjectives. Okay. Okay. So, for yeah. example, um, where is it? Okay, I'll write in chat. Oh, okay. So, um, well groomed you understand well groomed well groomed yeah no well groomed uh, it's like um when you take care of your appearance and so like you um your clothes are neat your hair is you know combed um you know everything is in place well groomed so you look very clean and tidy so that's well groomed um good looking right you know good looking like means like attractive right yeah. um uh gray haired gray haired so you understand gray haired Maybe and also something like that. Yeah, exactly. When somebody has gray, like when they have hair that has lost the pigment, so their the hair is no longer black or brown. You know, it's lost its pigment. That's gray haired. Um, yeah. So all those words. So you can either use a adjective or an adverb, like well, and then use a past participle, like groomed looking, haired, um, moving, right? So fast moving, okay? So in that case, we're using, um, yeah, the, the adjective fast and moving the present participle, okay? And if you notice, we always put them together using a hyphen. So well-groomed, good looking, gray haired, fast moving, always a hyphen. All right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um. Any other questions? I think that's it. That's it for today. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're also. It's also very late, so I, I know that you need to rest. Yeah. <laughs> you need to yeah. rest that brain. Yeah. Okay. I have to rest. Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. you so much. Well, yeah. You're welcome, Romario. My my pleasure. Anytime you need help, just write to me, whether it's in the chat or directly. Okay, and hopefully I can I can help you um, as soon as I can. Okay. All right, all right, thank you. Okay, thank you. you're welcome. All right, take care then and have a good evening. Yeah, you too. Thank you. All right, bye. bye. bye.